Hi, I'm here at the Sony stand and I'm joined by Thomas Easter to talk about the new projector lineup. Um, so Thomas, can you just talk me through the new projectors you were launching at the show? Yes, indeed. We are very excited this year again at TIFA 2017 because we are coming very, with very good news for the home projector market. As you know, one of Sony's ambition is really to expand true native 4K to more and more people and of course to make 4K, native 4K, laser price reasonable. So the two main innovations for us this year are the new VW260. The main challenge was to keep the VW quality in terms of true 4K, HDR quality, motorized lens and so on, and to make it cheaper, more affordable for more people. So this was the achievement for us because we are now coming with this model at only 5,000 euros, which will be available from next week. It keeps the same quality as the VW models that we already have in the lineup, with better HDR quality, a better chip as well, a better 4K reality creation, and better price. The second main introduction will be the new VW 760. There, the main challenge was to keep the same type of quality as our VW 5000 flagship, 4K HDR and laser source with 20 hours, 20,000 hours, sorry, without any maintenance, and to make it affordable from 65,000 euros to 15,000 euros, which is the, make it the biggest achievement. On top of that, in order to make it more convenient for home use, we have been able to reduce the size really by 40%, so it's much more, much lighter, much smaller, much easier to install in home, living room or dedicated room, and also it's also very silent at only 24 dB. Thank you, Thomas. Um, I'm just wondering about HDR. Obviously, it supports HDR10. Is there any plans to add things like Dolby Vision to your projector lineup in the way that you are with your TVs? So at the moment, on the whole lineup of home projectors, we are compatible with both HDR10 and HLG, of course, for broadcast content. Regarding Dolby Vision, technically, it is possible because it's gamma curve adjustment. So this is something that we can offer by firmware update. However, we are in discussion with Dolby, and at this moment, we cannot commit on anything. Thomas, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I look forward to see you on the booth. And if not, I hope that you will enjoy our new lineup for this year. Thank you.